So here we are once again in LEGO 2K Drive. We're in our awesome top fuel dragster boat dinghy mabob, whatever you want to call it. And uh, today we're going to complete a couple more races and we're going to be doing another build because everybody wanted to see me do uh, some sort of like diesel semi truck. So I think we're going to take that on here today. Don't know if it's going to handle the best because obviously it's going to be probably big and heavy, but it sounds like a really fun build. Now, one thing I should also point out, we have unlocked Hauntsboro. We'll go over there here in just a little bit because I actually have a couple races we could complete here. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this game on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and comment down below with builds you would like to see next. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going against an old lady. Oh, so the race is called Cat Scratch Freeway. Oh my goodness, it is a crazy cat lady. You know, honestly, I don't think I want this vehicle, but I feel like something should happen because that's way too many cats to have. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, that's a vehicle and a half there. All right, let's see. Oh, wait, look at the names. They're all cats. Oh my goodness, I didn't know this one I'd be racing today. Yeah, I think the drivers are cats. You can't even see them in the car. They can barely see over the, over the steering wheel. Oh my goodness. You know, I thought the races couldn't get any crazier. Also, there's big balls of yarn like on the track. Okay, let's try to avoid grandma here. Hey, it feels kind of wrong we're blowing grandma up, but I think she had it coming here. That she throws, wait, she's throwing yarn at me. That was totally like a ball of yarn. Where do I get that attack? She has like these yarn, oh, she hit one of her own cats. Yeah, she's got these like yarn like landmines or something. Uh, okay, that's definitely something. All right, and I can uh, send a missile grandma's way if I can get up to her. Oh, on. There we go. Lock on her. Oh, I got one coming for me. What? I just got shot by buttons. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see if we can. Oh, okay. We dodged her ball of yarn there. All right, we're right behind her. I, I just don't know. Like, how does she get that power up? Like, I want that power up. Or if we unlock that, that would be something. Okay, pretty tight race. Oh, she just dropped another one, but boom, we ran in the back of her. Hold on, it's gonna power up here. I uh, know she's gonna pass us, so we'll save these uh, mines for her. We're gonna throw a mine at Grandma. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, oh, we could've taken the tunnel, I think. Uh, I feel like that would've been quicker. Oh, jeez, okay. I'll get there. Okay, we're back in the lead. Just keep it going. Nope, you gotta be kidding me. All right, Grandma, boom! <laughs> Oh, she's got a force field. Oh, she blew up one of the other cats. Come on, let's just force her off the road. Oh, this is gonna be close. All right, let's see if we can get a, oh, one of the power-ups. Oh, the ghost. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and use that now. Uh, I need something else to fire at Grandma. Uh, okay, Haunt, let's use this. Oh, I think we got her. Okay, here comes the finish. Just boost over it and boom. We blew up Grandma. I feel kind of bad about that, not gonna lie. Yep, we won the uh, the Cat Deville. Um, okay, I mean it's decent, but there is the Yarnet, which that is uh, what she was dropping on us. So yeah, this vehicle's got its own nice little perk. All right, so we have leveled up to level 12 here. All right, well that was a uh, fairly satisfying race. So we can go take on another. Uh, we have the clover mines, or we can go ahead and build. So I think let's build a semi for the next race, and then we'll go uh, over to Hauntsboro and check that place out and see what events they have over there. Okay, this is definitely going to be a, a bigger off-roader. Um, which chassis do we want to use? I kind of like the big text. I know it's a, it was heavy. It didn't handle the best, uh, but it's got the wheels I need. Now, we're not going to have as many back wheels as a semi actually has on this build. Maybe we'll unlock a chassis like that soon, but I think I can make this work. Okay, the first thing we need to do, we need to extend this thing out a little bit. It is a little bit on the short side, so we're gonna add a couple pieces here. Okay, so I've extended the front out. I wanna go ahead and put some pieces down uh, for the bumper, so I think we're gonna use these uh, here so they'll extend out the front. Definitely gonna look like a, I would say more like an off-roading semi. Uh, I think it'll have a nice look. I don't know how well it's going to handle. I wasn't too big of a fan of the Big Tech's uh, chassis, but I think we can make it work. Also, I once again want to add the ridiculous motor to this. I think we're going to actually have the motor in the rear. Now, normally, of course, the semi-motor uh, is here in the front, whether it be like a flat body or a, a traditional semi, but I just think it would look awesome having this thing maybe in here in the rear. 
and then maybe having a spoiler. So it's gonna be more like a, almost like a race semi. So we're gonna place that there for now, but normally the semi engine would be in the front. So I am aware of that. I know somebody's gonna be like, Komodo, why didn't you put that at the front? So for the semi color, I think we're gonna go with probably like a green. Uh, I'm debating if I wanna maybe change it up. Actually, the metallic bricks look kinda nice. Maybe we'll use that for the bumper. But I think for the semi itself, uh, we're gonna go with a, oh, maybe like something bright like this. So maybe like a, a green and a, uh, maybe a black. Okay, so I've got a bit of a, uh, a body laid out. I'm gonna do a green. It's gonna have like some probably ginormous fenders on it. Uh, I feel like it would look kinda cool. And then of course the driver will set up and over. So I think it's gonna be more like a cab over. Maybe there'll be a little bit of a slide adjustment back for the grill, but I'll have to see how I wanna do this. Okay, so I'm building the fenders. I actually kind of like what I did with the uh, the grill. I used the single rounded pieces uh, to build them up and I put headlights beside it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna have fenders on the side. I found a really nice hood piece to go above the grill and then we'll have the cab up there. Uh, so I think it, this is actually gonna turn out pretty good. I was kind of doubting the design for a little bit. I was looking at a couple of uh, different designs online uh, that are similar to this, but definitely not exactly like it. Uh, for a little bit of inspiration. So uh, I think I'm gonna build out the fenders. We'll build the cab and then I'll work on the hood and the upper section. And we'll probably just put like a spoiler on the back and add a couple pieces and uh, really make it look like a, a fast like off-roading semi. It's also gonna be really big. Okay, here comes the hood piece on. There we go. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna definitely add some covered pieces and uh, just kind of work on uh, a bit of the sizing here as far as what I'm doing. Uh, I should probably do the covered pieces now. That way I can uh, nail down the colors that I want. I do want a little bit of black in the build. Uh, so I feel like maybe we'll have a stripe up the side potentially. There we go. So something like that. Oh my goodness, this thing is ginormous. Uh, might even try to put some like mud flaps on it too. Uh, I feel like that would be kind of cool. Okay, let's go ahead and sit our person in there real quick just to get an idea as to where uh, exactly they're going to be. All right, so that's probably good there. So I need to put a windshield on this and build up the top a bit. It is a chunky boy semi. Uh, I will give it that. Okay, so I changed the hood to black. I, I just want to see how this works real quick. This might be a thing. Uh, oh, and let's go ahead and put a single wide piece in here. I got to put a windshield in this thing. Uh, so we'll get rid of that one and then here, let me go ahead and put in like a single wide. Okay, let's see what windshield will actually work in this thing. Uh, that one actually is pretty good. That fits right on there. Uh, it kind of feels a little bit too vertical. Uh, we could go something like this, but then this one barely reaches over the head of the driver. Uh, what about this one? Ooh, this one's probably a winner right here. Uh, let's do that there, and then I need to put in a, a nice roof here. This is a chunky boy. It, it kind of actually just looks like some sort of like construction equipment. I might have to build the fenders down and the bumper down just a bit uh, to give it a little bit more of a semi look. By the way, I think I could totally give this the mud flaps I was talking about. Uh, I have some adjustable uh, blocks that I think I can use. Uh, so I think maybe we're gonna use, uh, I'm gonna put a flat piece up here. I'm gonna make a little bit more of an angle. Uh, that way it gives it a little bit more shape. Uh, I want it to look a little less boxy. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a progress update. So I'm building fenders for the back section because I felt like it was just way too bare. Uh, so we're doing that right now. Uh, we got the cab built. Uh, I was gonna lower the bumper a little bit, but I actually lowered it by just a flat piece here. Uh, that way we have almost like a black stripe on the bottom. Uh, it looks big, mean, and heavy. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be decent, but uh, I'm having fun with the build so far. And you guys have seemingly had a lot of fun with these uh, build episodes, so be sure to let me know if you wanna see more of these. Not the best builder, but you know what? I think we're getting something done here. Okay, so on this final bit, I think we're gonna put a, uh, a gigantic wing on here because I feel like that totally fits the build. I mean, it already looks ridiculous, so uh, we might as well make it even more ridiculous looking. So I'm gonna go with these like slanted pieces. Oh, getting pretty close to full. Uh, we have almost maxed out a build here. It's definitely our biggest build. All right, so we got that wing piece on. Um, I put some flat pieces on here, but uh, for the most part, I think we're ready to test this thing out. So let's give it a go. I, I feel like it's gonna be pretty heavy. 
Uh, we'll see if it turns. It probably turns like the big text. Yeah, the problem with the big text is it's drifting feels slow. But man, it is a absolute tank. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's see if we can get some air here. Oh, yeah, and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to put those mud flaps on. Uh, I thought about putting them on the front, but ever since I added the fenders to the back, it was gonna be kind of awkward sticking them under uh, the build itself. But you know what? I feel like I'm actually pretty happy with this. It's big, bulky, and ridiculous looking. But it's my take on a semi. All right, so we have fast traveled here uh, to Hauntsboro. I was actually going to complete another race over in Prospecto Valley, but it's actually locked. So I'm assuming we have to make some progress here. So you can see our new vehicle is equipped. Uh, I need to name these things. You guys had some good suggestions. Uh, so we'll definitely get those uh, taken care of. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and test it out. Let's see if this thing's going to be capable of handling uh, the terrain here. It's definitely a little bit different than Prospecto Valley and uh, Big Butte County. A lot more drops and stuff. There's still quite a bit of off-road sections, so I think we should be good uh, to go there. So let's go ahead and select a race. Boy, I tell you what, this is definitely a lot different area than the uh, past couple we've been in. Uh, it is creepy. There's a lot of... Uh, oh, spiders. We're about to go through some spider web. Oh, this is fine. Well, hopefully you guys are okay with spiders because that's, I think, what our first race is probably going to consist of. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the rival looks like. Oh my goodness, does she have a big spider vehicle? Uh, I think so. Oh yeah, that's... Oh, they're her pet. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. Um, where did she get that? Alright, here we go. Oh, well that's a spider car and a half too there. I actually kind of like the way that one looks. Alright, let's see if our big semi can uh, take care of this. I mean, it's kind of neat that we get this... Well, we did get to start with it. <laughs> Immediately to the McLaren. Oh, the McLaren is so satisfying. You know, I want to do a sports car. I feel like I'm getting a... Oh, jeez, really? I'm getting a little bit better with the pieces. Uh, it's still a bit of learning as far as the building. I'm not like one of those expert builders I don't claim to be, but uh, I feel like I want to build something sporty. Or I could try to build one of my own vehicles. Uh, maybe we can get like a, a Charger Hellcat or something. All right, boom! Let's just blow her up. Oh, that didn't really affect her that much. Okay, hold on. We're just going to make our way through here. You know what? I don't know what it is about it. This thing feels like it handles better than the big text that we had. I, I don't understand that because that thing looks so incredibly cool. And definitely our semi is bigger than that. Uh, at least taller, I believe. So you figured it wouldn't handle as well, but I mean, it's doing a pretty good job right now. All right, she needs a missile. Boom! And up, oh, took her out. Uh, somebody is ghosting beside me. Oh, geez. I just flew like through the uh, checkpoint thing here. Oh, yeah, we got the minigun. All right, take everyone out. Uh, trying to hit the leader. The leader's pretty far ahead. Come on. Oh, I think actually think we just blew up the leader. All right, so this is the battle for the win here. Oh, jeez. Okay, don't spin it out. Keep the drift going. Yeah, like, it's drift actually isn't that bad. Like, I'm just actually legit surprised here. Okay, there's the finish. Let's go ahead and uh, use our last power-up just to give ourselves a protective bubble, and there we go. Uh, we have one, and we're going to win... Probably another car that I'm not going to use much of. So, we got a, a lot different vehicle than I thought we were getting. We got the Wet Widow, which it's a, a boat. Uh, I kind of thought we were going to get something else. Also, we got some cool perks uh, that we can add to the car. All right. So, we've got ourselves another flag here. Uh, getting pretty close to getting to the Prospecto Valley Arena, I think. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's take on another race here. Uh, there's one called Fly Trap that isn't too far. Okay, just jump it across. There's just oversized pumpkins. Can I hit these? Can I? Okay, you cannot explode into those. And oh my goodness, is that the? Okay, that's the rival. It's a, it's a fly. Oh, does your vehicle at least look? Okay, I gotta admit that vehicle looks creepy and cool. So I think we're just gonna unlock uh, nothing but creepy vehicles here in Hauntsboro. And oh, what is? Wait, what is happening here? You know, I don't think I've ever seen a minifig look like that. I actually kind of want one of those in real life. All right, starting out here on the water, so we get to use our uh, our drag boat here. There we go, and let's do this. By the way, we need to go shopping next episode. I think I saw a police car uh, that I wanted to unlock, and I think I have enough cash to do it. Oh, geez. Okay, come on. I want to win that vehicle. Okay, go through here. Let's ghost real quick. Uh, somebody's shooting a minigun, but they can't hit me when I'm doing this. Also, what are those little balls that were falling down the hill? I'm not sure what that was. Uh, also, there is uh, there's fly swatters. <laughs> nice. 
Okay, King Buzzo. I do not have time for this. Oh, he's getting away from us, but we're in our drifting semi. I don't know why this thing seems a lot more reasonable now and it can actually drift. Uh, kind of weird. So how do you... Oh my goodness, he drops explosive mines too. Okay, you know what? We got to catch him. We got to slow him down here. Uh, he's destroying my semi. Come on. Oh, we're losing pieces. Okay, we got this. Okay, wait. Where's King Buzzo? Did he really get that far out ahead? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, and I missed the power up. That's uh, rather embarrassing. Uh, we're getting shot at too. Oh, this isn't good. Uh, come on. You guys stay out in front here. Oh, there he is. He's way up there. He just blew up, but we're getting blown up too. Come on. Uh, speed around. I need to hit him with this missile. I need to get into range. Uh, wait for the circle. Oh, he just drove off into the wall down there. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Jump, jump. <laughs> I don't know what to do. How do you dodge these? No. <laughs> really? I had taken out right at the line. I would have been a lot more angry if that was the last lap, and that's where I got taken out. Uh, definitely, uh, the AI, they step it up here in B class. Uh, definitely a little bit harder. Come on. Uh, I need to make some moves here. Okay, we're back in the first. Uh, we got the little web. Hold on, throw it behind us. Uh, oh, jeez. There's just explosive, like, uh, I think they're like spider eggs everywhere. Uh, no, you are not passing me. Oh, really? He used his... Uh, Little power up the last moment. Oh, uh, avoid those. Oh, he got hit by the uh, fly swatter. It's gonna drift in. Okay, power through the finish. No! Wait, we actually lost there. We lost by half a car length? What the heck? I like how unenthused I am about second place. I really wanted to win that. Try again. I can't believe King Buzzo beat us there. Okay, well, I accept nothing less than perfection here. I want to beat this. I want that checkered flag, so we are going to take care of it now. I mean, I'm a little more familiar with the course, at least, but... Yeah, they're definitely... Wow, I'm just immediately getting blown up. It's fine. Okay. Uh, let's just get the drifts going, get the power-ups going. Uh, we're going to sit here and try to battle. All right, we're on the last lap, last corner here. Uh, wait for it. Oh, no! Okay, there we go. We got the right boost, and... Oh, my... Yep, I got quiet there because I was so focused on this race. Uh, we did it. That is good. All right, so what are we unlocking here? Of course, we got our checkered flag and... Oh, yeah, we got another boat. That thing's kind of cool looking. There we go. We have leveled up to level 13 here. Nice. So let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time in LEGO 2K Drive.